So I recently buzzed on my Instagram asking y'all to ask me some questions so I can answer them. I got y'all questions and I got some answers for y'all. What's your favorite place to shop? Now, I kind of didn't want to answer this question due to the fact that like a couple of weeks ago they had this little incident. But my favorite place to shop is H&M. I don't care. The only thing I wouldn't buy from H&M is shoes, but everything else I would buy at H&M. Most of my jeans, all my hoodies, all that shit come from H&M. Fun fact, the little incident with the little boy, his own mama didn't care. So like, fake woke Twitter, how do y'all feel? Because like, if I was y'all, I felt salty that y'all was like really going hard for this little boy and his mama didn't care about the whole thing. Then everybody was running to H&M, like tearing H&M up, like that was gonna do something. That's another story. What inspired you to do YouTube? Okay. A lot of people ask me this question when they see me. Or like I tell them I do YouTube and they'll ask me what like what made me want to do it. I wanted to do this like three years ago, like the year I graduated. Like the summer I graduated, 2015, I was sitting at my grandma's house watching YouTube and I was like, yo, I could do this. I'm kind of funny. I know how to edit a video. This not hard. If they could do it, why can't I do it? The only thing with me, the only why it took me so long to actually start was I was so worried about the equipment aspect of YouTube. Not even like what I was gonna post, my content, none of that. I already knew what I was gonna do. It was more so what I was gonna use to do it. I was so focused on having a camera, a laptop, all that shit when, for the ones who don't know, which I don't understand how y'all don't know this yet, I edit and film on my phone. The inspiration was built off seeing other people do it and me looking back like, if they could do it, why can't I do it? $1,000 shopping spree. Where you going? Well, I like shopping at H&M. H&M got like good prices on everything, so I'm gonna spend a whole rack. Okay, I lied, hold up. I'm not spending a whole rack at H&M. Majority of that money will get spent at H&M, then like, ooh, that's a, that's a tough question. That's a tough question. Cause a pair of shoes, go for a thousand dollars if we gonna be real i'm gonna go where i'm gonna feel the most satisfied spending money yet so i'm gonna spend some money here and there i'm not gonna go to one store yeah i'm gonna do that if you could do a collab with any youtuber why would it be i think they meant who would it be um does it have to be one? I do, damn, that's tough. I do David Dober. Because David's vlogs is like foreign to YouTube. Like no one else is doing the doing the shit he doing. And I love to be like, I love to just be in a room while they're filming. Cause that shit is just the funniest. If y'all never seen a David vlog, y'all should go watch his vlogs. Cause this shit is just hilarious. Why bitches claim they don't want a nigga, but 30 minutes later they post some relationship memes and shit talking about mood and I want this and that. Um, That question alone is a whole video itself. If y'all wanna see that video, if y'all wanna make that video, let me know in the comments, cause I'll definitely make it happen. But to give you the short and sweet version of the answer to this question, they don't, girls don't know what the fuck they be wanting, bro. Niggas, let's talk. I'm talking about the same people who Stand in the mirror for 35 minutes trying to figure out what color of eyeshadow they want to put on. They're indecisive. They don't know what the fuck they want half the time. They don't see something that seems very enticing. They'll see something they really they'll see something that sounds good for the moment. And then 30 minutes later, they'll see something else or experience something else that make them switch their entire mood. Girls be confused, but I don't really know what the hell they be wanting half the most of the goddamn time. I don't know, girls are confusing, bro. They're like a Ruby's cues. Once you figure it out, you'll figure it out every other time, but until then, you kind of stuck. What's the most important thing to you and why? Being positive, because positivity brings great energy. If you're positive to someone else, they're gonna be positive back to you. If you give off good vibes and you're like, you're, you're, good, you're fun to be around, people are gonna wanna, people, people tend to, Gravitate to that. People gravitate to positivity. Because if you're a negative person, nobody wanna fuck with you like that. So I feel as if if you're a positive, I would want to be around a positive person. It's 2018. There's no like the negativity should be like out. Because there's a bunch of bad shit that's going on in the world. 
as it is right now. So why add to the bad shit when you could try to find another outlet or find something to make the world a better place? And make the world a better place, you start off with positivity. So be positive. Why do you call yourself Jacuzzi? All right, now this is a question that a lot of people been asking me. People who personally know me, people who hardly know me. Everybody trying to figure out why I call myself Jacuzzi. I'm gonna say this one time, and it's gonna be, this is gonna be the first and last time I ever say it. I wanted to have a name that like, when you say it, you would have to ask. It's basically like a conversation starter. I want it to be like, when you see the name, hear the name, it's like, why do they call themselves Jacuzzi? Because when you hear the word Jacuzzi, you instantly think of a hot tub. At least I hope that's what you think of. I don't think, I don't think you really think of nothing else when you think of the word Jacuzzi. And it's probably not making sense right now, but I promise you I'm going to make it make sense. I call myself Jacuzzi because when you're in a Jacuzzi, what you doing? Chilling. It's good vibes. It's a bunch of positivity. Everybody that you never been, there's not been one time you've been in a Jacuzzi and it's just negative energy. It's always something good. But there's those people who stay in the pool because they can't handle how hot the water is. And the way that relates to me is I'm a real positive guy. I'm real positive. I got good vibes. But people can't handle, a lot of people can't handle how 100 I keep it with them. And so they either, they fuck with me or they don't fuck with me. And that's how I came up with the name Jacuzzi. All right, that's a wrap. If y'all enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. New to my channel. I don't even want you to subscribe. No, I'm playing. Like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Link in the description below. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It's lit over there. I always start to prosper. I'm finna go walk my goldfish. Y'all be positive. Stay hydrated and mind your business. Because if you're not minding your business, drinking your water and being positive, you're polluting the earth at this point. Since global warming is really on the rise right now, it's like, why, why are you still watching? Uh, bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap. Bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap. Love her, bless your trap. Bless your trap.